Welcome back to Creating Piano Performance and Tutorial Videos. This is week six and we are talking about screen capture. Why you would use screen capture and how to do it. Let's take a look at five common uses for screen capture. Number one, the score in motion. Imagine trying to demonstrate a piece where you can have the score moving along with you. You can just record the screen with the video. A user can also use this and change the speed if they want to practice slower. You can imagine many uses for this. You can also use your screen capture to create piano tutorials. Notice how I've created and these tutorials. What that means is you play the melody in the right hand. I can talk along and show students what I want them to see, but I can also show my music moving on my screen because I've captured it. Additionally, you can show users how to navigate software on your screen. Or you can show chords. You can even have little arrows pop up indicating what you're trying to discuss. Or ultimately, you can point out with arrows what you want to show with your hand. Another cool thing you can do with screen capture is capture video background and replace your background with a video. You can also use your screen capture to record audio tracks that you can use as background music for any of your videos. Screen capture is a phenomenal way to model how to do something. In this video you can see how I captured the screen of the video on my computer to show it in One my of the demonstration. Tricks to doing this is you have to line it up. Not only did I do that, but you can see I also showed the screen from my cell so phone. Let's take a look how that's done. You just where I could show users how to do something on my cell phone. And then later in the same demonstration, I walked over to my computer and showed my screen on my computer so users could see how I was navigating around the screen and how I was doing video editing. These are only a few of the uses for screen capture. So let's jump in and show you how to do some screen capture. I certainly want to show you how to do each one of these things, but first I need to show you how to do the basics of screen capture. So let's get started with Camtasia. Hey, welcome to my studio. This is really fun. I have, of course, a green screen behind me that I use, and you can see I've got my lights set up and I've got a microphone that I use so I can get some really good um, video recording. But what I want to show you right now, if you come in and look, in Camtasia, if you go up to the top, you have this little record button. If you click on that, it will pull up a little box here and this will be your record options. Everything is turned on right now. Camtasia is really cool because you can record this thing, which is your screen. I could turn it off and then you see it just goes away. Turn it back on and then it's gonna record this camera. It's coming out of this shot right here. My microphone, I can actually choose to use this microphone right below me, the one I have plugged in, or use the other one that's part of the system. Or um, I can also do the screen recording, which will record my computer screen, or I can turn it off. Um, the other cool thing you can do is you can turn your system audio on. So what I want to do is I want to show you, these are basically the only two things you'll want, the screen recording and the system audio. These are optional. Um, you can get that from another camera, but let me just show you what it does with Camtasia. I'm going to hit record, and you can see it counts down three, two, one, and then I'm going to come over here to YouTube, and in YouTube, I'm going to grab a video, and let's say hey, I... welcome to Song of the Week. We are okay, so still it's in our recording challenge. So today's song of the week this is going song to be here. I'm going to come over here, get some music. I'm going to pause that. 
and you can see that I'm talking. I'll show you what that does later, and then I'm going to start it again. And it turns it from major to minor, changes the mood. Okay, so now I'm going to hit stop, and I'm going to show you what happens. Over here in Camtasia, in your media, you will see your recordings. And so these are my video recordings. If you scrub over it with your cursor, you can see what that video is. So this is the one. I'm gonna drag it to my timeline and you'll see something really interesting. Notice that there are little spikes here in your audio clip. This one is my screen and this one is my microphone and my video camera. You can actually separate these two or you can keep them together so they line up. And a cool thing about Camtasia is they keep them separately. So you can actually put this video wherever you want. You can do the green screen on it. Um, it's pretty cool what you can do with Camtasia. It does them both simultaneously. I can even make this as tiny as I want and not part of my picture. We're not gonna go into that because that's a later video. What I do want you to see let me just delete this one and we'll just take a look at this. So this was my screen. I captured my video and I also captured the audio. Hey, welcome to Song of the Week. We are still... Now you can separate that audio by clicking on it and say separate audio and video. And now I just have a video track. So if you wanted to just use a clip for your audio as background music. That's how you do that. And then you can just put that behind anything. You can edit it, make it louder or softer. You can go into the the uh, audio, audio effects. So if I come over here and say audio effects and I wanna just do a fade out, or if I wanna add an audio point, I can do that. Add an audio point. And on that audio point, you can kind of adjust things to make it louder, softer, until you get the right volume for that. So this part over here, this now is the video of your screen. And you can do a number of things with that. You can, just like any video with there, you can kind of clip it and say, yeah, I just wanna show this picture here, go over here, and then edit this, maybe stretch it to the whole screen. Um, whatever you want to do with with that. But I've gone ahead and got my screen capture, and that's exactly what I wanted to show you, how you could do that in Camtasia. Now, if you don't have Camtasia, you can still do screen capture. There are lots of ways. Just do a search on YouTube on different ways, and you can find something that will work for you, including Zoom. If you start Zoom, and share your screen and then do the recording of that session, it will actually do a screen recording and save it into your documents. Now, let's take a look at the score in motion and how to do that exactly. Notice at the bottom, I have a keyboard that's being recorded with a camera and then my score at the top is actually just recording my screen capture. It's also recording the audio in the background, which you can hear. So let's take a look at how to do this exactly. Okay, we are now in my studio and I'm setting up for this recording. Right here, I have a green screen that's really, really cool. Um, it's about 70 bucks and I got it on Amazon. You can find it in the agenda, which is in the link below. But it just pops out and it goes on this little stand that comes with it. And then I just set it up behind me and that way I can use the green screen here. Now on my computer, I go over and I set up Camtasia. Um, because I want to get the blue cursor following me, I'm actually plugging in my piano. It's got a piano scan, so I can actually plug it in. And I open Piano Marvel, open my song that I'm using. This one's Arabesque. And then I just set it up so that I can play the song and it will follow me. The score actually follows me as I play. So as I record the screen, you can see it just follows me along. I just started Camtasia. I'm gonna hit the record button so it records my screen. 
Um, I noticed that my green screen was just too far away. It was, wasn't was showing enough uh, green behind me, so I couldn't cut it out. So I'm going to move this forward and lift up the green screen. Next, I need to get my camera set up over the keys so I can get the second shot. Now I have two places that I use. Um, this one's actually attached to the ceiling. If you don't have one of those, you can do something on the floor. Uh, I prefer the ceiling because my piano vibrates and sometimes will move the camera if it's on the floor. Um, you can see I've got this stand. It's just a boom stand. This is also on the agenda if you look in there under equipment. This is a very important step. You want to make sure that your camera is completely square with your keys. That will save you a lot of editing time in the video. Now that I'm finished, I need to stop my video recording on my camera. I need to stop the video recording on my screen share. And I will go ahead and start recording my screen on my phone so you can see what I'm doing. So from here, you just click on the share button and choose to share with Drive. Now that it's done, you can rename the video and then click Upload. While that's loading, I'll come over here to my computer and I'll begin working with the other files. So when you have your Camtasia files, you'll just download the screen capture just drop it onto your timeline there and you'll come over here and you can begin working with your screen file that you just captured. Okay, then I will see if my phone has finished uploading the video so that I can grab the screenshot, download it to mm -hmm. my computer mm -hmm. and then add it to my video. This thing is done recording. So just come over to Drive and do a search for the video that you just uploaded from your phone. Download it to your computer, and then I drop it into Camtasia's media bin. The next step is to line up the videos. Then you'll want to trim your video, move it into place, and the last step is to take your screen capture and size it just correctly for the window that fits above your other frame. And that is it. You now have a finished product. So have lots of fun doing screen capture. If you don't know something, you can always look it up on YouTube and ask how to do this or that. In the meantime, have fun, and we'll see you in the next video.